Hello there, and welcome back to another video of the TI4 browser app. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be going over a recent change made to the app that deals with movement in terms of um, fleet capacity, as well as um, infantry and fighter capacity. So before uh, this video, when you would move ships, as you can see here, um, I'm playing as the blue player Alice and I have a fleet pool of three. So prior to this video, if I tried to say activate this system here and move four ships into the system, the game would tell me that I couldn't do it because I'm exceeding my fleet pool. And of course, this isn't within the scope of the rules. You should be able to destroy a unit. Um, furthermore, you can see I'm leaving behind fighters here. So even if I did meet the fleet restriction, and say left my flagship behind, the game still wouldn't let me do it because of this fighter. The same thing would happen if I uh, if I left infantry behind, and there actually is, I believe, yeah, one infantry here. So this video, we're going to go over how now this has been fixed, and you're going to be able to actually temporarily go over your fleet capacity or leave fighters or infantry behind, and then the game will prompt you to destroy them. So we'll do this exact scenario here. Um, I will activate the Dalbutha system and confirm. We'll pass on the ability round. Now we'll go ahead and move our four ships, so two from the Mir system here. And what we'll do is we'll actually take um, these fighters and leave behind this infantry in space to see how that works. We'll take uh, this um, this cruiser from our home system and the flagship from this system. Okay, so what's going to happen now when we go to confirm is a few things. So we'll get this warning message and you know we'll be asked if we want to move the units. And we get a couple of warnings here. So first, the game is telling us that the units in the active system are going to exceed um, capacity or fleet limit. And so actually here we're exceeding our uh, fleet limit because um, we have the four ships where we have three fleet tokens. So if we confirm this, we're going to be required to remove units from the active system. Now in addition to this, we have this little asterisk here. And, and the asterisk is corresponding down here um, to this system. So the asterisk reads, units remaining in the system will exceed your capacity or fleet limit. If confirmed, you'll be required to remove units from this system. And so that was the system where I left the one infantry behind. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm this, and we're going to verify here that we're going to be able to destroy units now. All right. So now that we have confirmed the movement, you can see up at the top left of the screen that we're being prompted to remove units to meet fleet and capacity constraints. So if we just try to confirm, we have selected nothing. So the first order of business is to get our units in here down to four. So we'll do that. We'll select a cruiser. And now if we try to confirm, what's going to happen is we're actually being told that our capacity in system 37 is not being met. And system 37, you can see right here, is the uh, mirror system. And that is that one infantry that was left behind. So we click it, and now we should be good to go. And there we go. So under the game log, you can see here, we moved the units and we had to rem remove them as well. Okay, so yeah, that's the change we've made. It's gonna be good because it's another change that's in line with the rules. It'll give players more flexibility and won't be hindered by their movement, the capacity restrictions. Um, so uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. And uh, thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date on 
our content, please, you know, feel free to click the subscribe button down below. If you want to give feedback, you're more than welcome to in the comment section, but I would rather see more people uh, leave comments in the Discord than the YouTube section because I'm much more active there. And besides, in there, you can actually talk to a lot of people who use the app and even coordinate games with people. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.